Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great this morning. I want to get on a subject very quickly today that may affect you and potentially will affect all of you. And that's the Facebook lottery, the little tag that's going around. I, I want to caution you from these things because they're scams and they try to draw you in. The interesting thing about it is they hack one of your friends and you think it's coming from them. So let me just say, if you get anything at all from me other than the gospel that you're getting right now, don't open it. Don't deal with it. Don't even be a part of it. Because people can hack into your account and you don't even know it. So let me caution you about these Facebook lottery things. You know, a lot of people are trying their best to get wealthy uh, really overnight or, or some whim or some lottery uh, number. And what happens when we do this sorts of things is we move God away from being our source. God said he would take care of us, and let's not get ahead of him. God will do what we need. He will provide. Now, it is true that people have won state lotteries, and people have won prizes when they have put tickets in drawings, whether it be for a car, whether it be for a, you know, whatever. But, but this Facebook thing is uh, people have uh, uh, hacked into friends' accounts and they have sent requests to other friends, did you get this, did you get that? In fact, I have had to block two people that sent me those things and they're good people. But I had to block them because their account needs to be cleaned up and I don't want anything to get on what I'm doing here because I'm trying to get the gospel out. I'm not trying to offer you a lottery ticket here. I'm trying to give you eternal life through Jesus Christ based on salvation and based on faith. And I'm trying to enrich your spiritual life by teaching the word of God and making practical application to your daily life. Those things are very important to me. So if you get anything from me, don't open it. Just disregard it immediately. But now these videos, that's me, loud and clear. And I want you to understand that God will provide what you need. The Bible says the love of money is the root of evil, not money. There's nothing wrong with money. Uh, people work, they get money, they, they pay their bills, they buy their car, they buy their clothing, they feed their family. There's nothing wrong with money, but the love of money. Now, this is where the problem comes in. Many people that buy lottery tickets and even try to jump on this Facebook scam that's going around, they're going to say, well, I'll give it a chance. Or who knows whether it's real or not. Well, God knows. But the Bible speaks of these things. We're not to be carried away with envy and lust. And we're not trying to get something for nothing. Jesus paid the price for us. Grace is something that God gave. You and I can recognize that by accepting his death, burial, and resurrection. And we may not get every day what we want, and we may say, wow, if I had a million bucks, what I would do with that, and possibly you could buy a few things that temporarily would make you happy, but not eternally it won't, because your relationship with God is what's going to make you uh, really complete. Well, that doesn't mean that you should sit in poverty and laugh and rejoice and throw your hands up in the air and shout all the time, because we want to strive to do the best we can. But it's not our effort, not our goal to start seeking first our wealth and our authority and our kingdom. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and everything else will be added to you. Now, God's either the truth or he's a lie. And I have a strong word from you, uh, for you from the Bible. God is true uh, without question. God does not lie. The devil's the liar in the bunch. And the devil will try to get you to bite on something to get you something for nothing. So trust God with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. And God will make a way for you where there seems to be no way. So be careful when you see these things pop up. Don't try to get something for nothing. Leave it alone. Pray. Seek God. God will take care of you. You be blessed today. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.